Okay, so you've heard me mention Quick Steps in a lot of the other videos, and this would be for Outlook PC. So what you would do is go to your home ribbon here, and you'd see Quick Steps right in the middle. And then this bar right here is going to be, you press that arrow, and you'll see Manage Quick Steps pops up. Now what we're going to do is we're going to create quick steps that will move emails from your inbox into the action folders. You saw me moving them so quickly and this is how you'll do it. So let me show you how we're going to do this. In order to make this an example that sticks, I'm going to go ahead and delete this first uh, quick step so that I can show you how to make it yourself. So I'm going to delete that. So what you would do is you would go to new at the bottom here and then you'd go down to custom. And then you would type in what you want to call it. So I'm going to call this one reply because I'm replacing the one I just deleted. And then I'm going to choose an action. And the action is going to be that I'm going to move it to a folder. And the folder I'm going to choose it to in this case is one reply. So that the quick step is going to match in name to the folder that I want to move it to. Now I'm going to add an action here. And for me, that's going to be to mark it as red. But you may not want to do that. And that's entirely up to you. Now this is the really crucial part down here. You need to choose a shortcut key so it recognizes that anytime you have this quick step it moves it to the folder. And the shortcut I'm going to choose is Control Shift 1. Now could you name it a different thing? Yes, but I like to make the number match the priority so everything is one here and it's easy to remember. And then you're going to say finish. And then you'll see it's now been saved and you're going to say OK. So now let's do a test. So let's say that I decided that this one is a reply. So I'm going to go ahead and select this one. And then I'm going to do Control Shift 1. And let's see if it went in there. Yes, it did. So we know that that quick step worked. So that's how you would create quick steps and you would do that for each. So if I go back and expand this, you'll notice we have one reply, two do, three meet and so on. So you would do it exactly the same way. Now for archive, you would do this a little bit differently. Now archive is control shift nine and I'm going to show you how to do control shift eight in a different video. It's important to note that the quick steps only go up to the number nine. So unfortunately, you can't do 10, 11, 12, etc. However, you'll find that you have mainly seven main folders and you're going to have uh, control shift eight will be to pop open a window. And I'll show you how to do that one in a different video. And control shift nine is going to be how we do the archive. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this archive step. And then I'm going to do it the same exact way. Go to New, Custom. I'm going to call this one Archive. The action I'm going to choose is that I want to move it to the folder. And the folder is going to be Archive. Uh, I'm not going to add an action to this one for now. And then the shortcut I'm going to choose for archiving is Control Shift 9. And then I'm going to say Finish. And you'll see Archive is here. It shows you what the shortcut key is. And then I'm going to hit OK. So let's go back into our inbox and to say, let's just give this a try and say that I want to go ahead and archive this email. I'm going to do control shift nine and let's check our archive and there it is. So that's how you would do quick steps and you'd want to set that up for all of your action folders. So when you're in your inbox, you can just do control shift plus the number that matches the number of your action folder and it moves there without you having to drag it with your mouse.